Hi everybody, welcome to Michael Todd Beauty's how-to video for dermaplaning at home using the Sonic Smooth. Dermaplaning at home should be convenient, fast, and pain-free. In this video, I'm gonna go over skin prep, I'll show you how to use the Sonic Smooth at home, and then finally I'll follow up with some post-treatment tips. Let's start with skin prep. It's very simple. You just wanna start off with a clean, dry face. So I just washed my skin with a gentle, mild cleanser, and then I dried it completely. If you're prone to ingrown hairs, it would be smart to start off with a gentle, physical exfoliator. Something similar to our Sonic Clear is great for this. If you're somebody with very sensitive skin or rosacea-prone skin like I have, you might wanna be a little bit more cautious on over-exfoliating and skip this step. Now that our skin is clean and dry, we're ready to start dermaplaning. Your safety edges are gonna come like this in this nifty little box, and it makes it easy for putting the blade on. So all you're gonna do is slide the handle right onto the blade until it clicks and there you go. Immediately before you get started you can just wet your hand and make sure you get all those wispy hairs out of the way because you don't want to catch them while dermaplaning. You could also use a headband for this. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn on your device. It's got three settings. Which one you use is all personal preference but I would suggest starting with the low setting and working your way up from there. Let's start dermaplaning. You wanna hold the tool at a 45 degree angle that's gonna feel almost parallel to the skin. You don't wanna be doing this. And you're gonna pull your skin taut and work in short, brisk motions, applying almost no pressure at all. You want the sonic technology to really do its job here. Another thing to mention while dermaplaning, you just wanna go in the direction of your hair growth as to not affect the root of your hair. And also it just prevents a lot of irritation as well. You're gonna to wanna to avoid the nose directly on the lips and the eye area. You also wanna avoid any raised blemishes on your skin. So if you're dealing with breakouts, it's really just best to hold off until those breakouts have cleared up to do the Sonic Smooth treatment at home. So the cheeks are pretty easy. You have a nice flat surface. The lip area is very tricky. You're just gonna wanna make sure you got your skin nice and tight. Open your mouth like this and you'll be able to get your lip area. Same thing for the chin. You're just trying to create a flatter surface for yourself. The forehead is another easy area. You're just gonna work in short, brisk motions down. Once you're done dermaplaning, you are going to feel the softest skin of your life. To maintain these results, we recommend doing weekly treatments, although you could start with maybe monthly treatments and work your way up from there. You can, of course, stop dermaplaning at any time. For post-treatment, something I like to do is just splash my face with water, get rid of all the peach fuzz that came off and any excess dead skin. For post-treatment, we recommend a nice, basic moisturizer. Please avoid any active serums or ingredients, and if you can, try to to do this at night that will prevent you from having to put on SPF and makeup immediately after dermaplaning and really lessening your chances of irritation and finally our safety edges are single use this is to achieve the best results possible and for sanitary reasons to remove the edge you'll simply place the blade back into the case and slide the handle out carefully you'll want to dispose of your safety edges the way you do all of your other disposable razors please reach out to us with any questions you might have we can't wait for you to experience these results